everybody, welcome back to PC Beauty. Today I have a, a quick product review and demo for you of the Bobbi Brown Corrector. My shade is in peach and it comes in this little compact with a little mirror on top. Um, this product retails for $23 and it's basically a color corrector that you're supposed to apply. I mean, for me, I apply under my under eye area. Um, I'm, I'm sure you could probably use in some other areas in your face if you have the discoloration or whatever. And it's great to neutralize the purplish uh, tones that you might have under your eyes. I have very, very bad uh, under eye dark circles. Um, I don't have allergy or anything like that. I, just, I think in my case it's gener genetic. I'm not sure, but I do have that. No matter how much I sleep or I don't sleep, I will have that. So. Um, along this video, I will show you a demonstration of what my under eye area looks like without anything on and then on one side I did only the Bobbi Brown corrector first and then on the other side I applied uh, a concealer that I already currently have which I happen to do, uh, to make, I have made a review on it which is the Tarte uh, Creaseless Concealer. If you're interested, you can click on here somewhere um, and then you can see the difference on both. And, and the coverage of the concealer on my dark circles without the color corrector underneath and then eventually I applied the concealer on top of the corrector and you can see the difference. Obviously none of these concealers are full coverage so if you are looking for a full coverage concealer you might need to get that to apply on top of the corrector because on, otherwise you will still see through some of the darkness like you can see under my eyes right now it's not fully perfect um, coverage coverage you know so which doesn't always look natural so you need to watch out for that as well um, I really like this product I also have the uh, benefit race paste which I eventually will make will do a review on it too I find this a lot creamier if you suffer from some sort of like if, if your concealer crackles kind of, you know, it looks a little dry under your eyes, this is a great, a great base, like a great, great corrector because it's very, very creamy. However, on the other hand, when you apply this and then you apply a creamy concealer on top, you really, really need to blend it in very nicely and even like apply and move on to a different part of your makeup and then eventually go back to it and smooth it in because otherwise it will settle in your uh, fine lines. I have fine lines under my eyes going on currently and if I don't, and I usually use my fingers or some kind of brush like this. This is the uh, P84 Precision Angle by Sigma or there's some other um, there are other brushes in this line as well that you can use um, to smooth it out. Make sure you blend it in very well, otherwise you will encounter uh, settling in your under underlines or the line, the fine lines under your eyes. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Anyway, overall, I think I, I think this product is great. It lasts you a long, long time because a small quantity goes a long way. I've had mine for a few months already, and I barely made a dent on it. And it is nice if you want to carry around because it comes with a little mirror and it's super compact and tiny so you can carry this around all the time. For some people, I've seen on YouTube reviewing this product, they can use just that under their eyes and you will see when I show the difference, it does cover some of your dark circles so if you don't have very bad dark circles like I do, you can probably just use that. But if you want more coverage then you would put the concealer on top but it's up to you like with any other product that you use, you know, you have to adapt to whatever works best for you. So um, I love this product. You can get it at any Bobbi Brown counter or Bobbi Brown store. I believe I got mine at Lord & Taylor and like I said it's $23. Mine is in the shade Peach and I know there's a range of, of different shades, lighter and darker I believe. Um, the, the beauty consultant there told me Peach for me would work. I still have some doubts because I figured if I had a lighter one it could be even better but I already have the erase paste which is lighter than this so I'm just going to stick with this one for now. So if you'd like to see the, the demo, keep on watching. Okay so right now I have absolutely nothing on my under eyes and as you can see it's pretty bad and pretty dark. Um, I want to do a couple demonstrations here. Um, I'm going to apply the, the Bobbi Brown corrector on one side and then you'll be able to see the difference between nothing and the corrector and then I want to apply only concealer on this side 
and any particular concealer. I'm I'm going to be using the the Tarte Creamless uh, Creaseless Concealer, but you can use you know just for demonstration purposes, nothing about this concealer in particular, but just so you can see the difference. And then I want to apply concealer on top of the corrector so you can see the difference as well. So hopefully this works. So here's my Bobbi Brow, Bobbi Brown Peach uh, Color uh, Concealer, what is it called? Corrector. And I like to apply this directly with my finger. So I just dab my finger in there. And then I'm gonna apply on my under eye. And this peach is quite orangey. So I, that's why I don't necessarily like to use it by itself. Some people I've seen use just the corrector. Um, I don't necessarily like that too much. And like I said, I like to apply directly with my finger, but it's up to you. You can use kind of brush or something if you prefer. But you can already see the difference. So one more second. Okay, <clears throat> so now on this side I have the Bobbi Brown concealer, I mean corrector, and on this side I have absolutely nothing. So you can you know it, you can see the coverage already much better. But like I say, I have very bad dark circles. So you know if you don't have as bad, you'll probably probably be, have a better result anyway. Now on this side I'm gonna apply only the concealer. And I'm gonna apply that. I'm gonna probably use just my finger as well. This is also a pretty con creamy concealer, so. <clears throat> okay. So now, on the, and I'm only applying one layer just, just for demonstration purposes, like I said. So on this side I have Bobbi Brow Corrector and on this side I have a concealer only, okay? So obviously the concealer has a better coverage than the corrector alone. Now what I want to do is put the concealer on top of the corrector, which is something that you're supposed to do. Um, then again, each person is different. Sometimes you might, have, you might not need the, the concealer on top of the corrector. Okay, now, do you see the difference? And I believe, I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm sorry, because I just want to, I'm using it as a mirror as well. But I just want you to see the difference. You can still see through, like it's not a perfect full coverage concealer that I'm using anyway, but you can see less purple on this side than on this side. Can you see this difference? I'm just gonna try to zoom you even more. Don't be scared. Okay, like I said, you can still see through, a little bit of the darkness, but when you use the creamy, the corrector, and the concealer, the coverage is better. You see? And this is just the concealer. I um, appreciate your views. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.